Here we have uh, Mary Beth uh, Blair from the Berkeley County Youth Fair uh, with us along with uh, a young lady named Lily. But before we get to that, last night, overnight, I believe uh, at uh, 1.20 a.m., there was a shooting in Morgan County. Multiple people were shot, taken to uh, at least two different facilities. And uh, Morgan County Sheriff Casey Borer joins us via telephone. Sheriff, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, Rob. Can you give us any additional information on the shooting in Morgan County last night? Uh, who was involved and how many people exactly were shot? Yeah, I wish we knew more about it. Uh, our officers were notified about 120 of a gunshot call in the Householder Road area. When they responded, it was a large party. On the way there, they began receiving information that there were multiple victims being transported to Berkeley Medical Center by private ambulance. Uh, in fact, there were four injured victims. Uh, one we know earlier when I was at Berkeley Medical Center was undergoing surgery. And we were told one was taken to Ruby Memorial and two were treated and released. The, um, we have been in Berkeley County, we've been working with them, have been uh, somewhat plagued lately with these large parties. Uh, we are being told that there's an app being used called Venture Club, where people, in some particular cases, are renting Airbnbs and hosting parties and putting it out, and large amounts of people from the Quad State area are coming. Um, we've been told as young as 15 and up into the 20s and 30s, uh, alcohol use, several of the parties that uh, we've responded to, there's been evidence of drug use and firearms present. Um, so we're quite concerned about this. Uh, seems to be escalating over the past several weeks. Sheriff, these uh, attendees at this party were from all four states of the Quad State area? I'm not sure about this party. I know in recent parties there have been people from all four states. And I don't specifically have that. I do know in this particular party there was West Virginia and, and uh, Hagerstown residents. And you need assistance with identifying the shooter from this particular party last night? We do. We've been given a nickname. Uh, several people tend to know him, but only by his nickname. Uh, but we're not 100% sure. We identified uh, different cartridge cases scenes at the scene to indicate there might have been more than one firearm present. So currently we are uh, asking for anyone who might have been at the party or have knowledge of who was at the party or uh, everybody seems to have a cell phone video these days or anything that might be able to help us out uh, to identify who's responsible. And how can they reach you, Sheriff Bohr? Uh Deputy Deal and Deputy Knotts are the primary leads on this case. They can reach us by 304 Two five eight ten sixty seven, which comes into the Sheriff's Department Law Enforcement Station. If it's after hours, they can reach her Morgan County nine one one dispatch at three zero four two five eight zero three zero five. Oh three zero five. So two five eight ten sixty seven two five eight zero three zero five. That's correct. And I understand in the press release that Morgan and Berkeley County Sheriff's Departments, West Virginia State Police, and the City of Martinsburg Police Department have all been involved in the investigation. Yes, in the last several large parties that we've had in our jurisdiction, because of the size, uh, state police, Berkeley County, Hampshire County, and uh, multiple agencies have responded. And in particularly last night, uh, besides us, was Berkeley County, Martinsburg PD, and West Virginia State Police involved in assisting. Anything, Matt? Yeah, I just wanted to ask, uh, Sheriff Bohr, you, you mentioned other parties. So you've been called or have had deputies called to these other parties as well due to activities that are going on? Correct. The last couple of weeks, large parties. And uh, uh, we have been called to respond to gunshots, loud noises, loud parties, reckless driving, all this sort of thing, which someone sees and, and notifies us. Is there any evidence linking these parties in a common people in regards to hosting or attending, Sheriff? Uh, I understand that um, Berkeley County has actually identified some people hosting this and may have pending charges, but I need to confirm that. 
And you mentioned that. Yeah, don't know if they're specific to last night's incident, but I understand Berkeley County has uh, possibly identified uh, some promoters, if you will, of this and have uh, obtained arrest warrants for people and incidents that happened in Berkeley County. You mentioned that one of the people you were looking for went by a nickname. Did you want to repeat that nickname? I can't at this time. We need to look at some uh, resources on our end before we release that. Sheriff, is this, so you said they're, they're using an app. Is this an app that you guys now can monitor so you can see the traffic on it and know when there's a large party coming? That's something that I've asked and I've got people looking into. So hopefully if we can get into this, maybe we can be proactive. Sheriff Bohr, anything else you can tell us or anything else you need to publicize regarding this event? No, we just uh, would really appreciate any help we can get on this. And also with the 15-year-old uh, missing juvenile from over the weekend that we uh, don't have any leads on as well, Angel Turner. Angel Turner. Anything you want to relay regarding that particular situation? Uh, if you don't have the flyer, I can send that to you today. But we had a 15-year-old female from the Fairview Drive area that was discovered uh, missing by her father, uh, 8.30 on the 3rd. Uh, she was last known to be at the home, I believe, around 11.30 p.m. on the 2nd. Um, disappeared. Uh, she packed some belongings and clothing that we've been told. Uh, she may have uh, left with a Hispanic male. We, don't, we have very, very limited information. Uh, she didn't take her smartwatch. She didn't take her uh, medication. And uh, we're going on four days now. We don't have any leads on this young lady. Any description of the young lady or any vehicles involved, Sheriff? I'd be happy to send you that flyer when we get off the phone, Rob. But uh, her name's Angel Turner. She's 15 years of age. And I don't have it in front of me, but I'll be glad to send it to you just as soon as I hang up. Please do, sir. All right. We appreciate the public uh, being notified and your involvement and in trying to help us get that information out. Thank you, Sheriff. All right. Have a good day. Sheriff Casey Bohr from Morgan County, and we appreciate him this morning uh, coming on the program to relate that information. And as I get that flyer, I can pass along that description as well.